Hey, this is Professor Dave from dragondropco.com. Uh, in a previous video series, I showed you how to take information from a spreadsheet and show it in, um, in, a, in an app, okay? And this in, in this series, I'm gonna show you how to actually let the user input information into the spreadsheet and into the app, okay? So we're gonna just click this plus button to create a new screen. And I'm gonna rename that screen input screen, all right? So we've got the screen one, which is kind of the home screen. Info screen shows a particular person and input screens where the user is gonna be able to input information. And what I'm gonna do is grab um, a text input component. Okay, and this is unlike a label, labels kind of read only. Text input is, you know, where the user can enter something. And the hint is what's gonna kind of prompt them to enter, enter the information. So in this first hint, we'll just say, you know, enter name, okay? And I'm just gonna duplicate this guy. You know, once you get a text input box that, that looks like you want it to look, uh, duplicate it and these little dot, dot, dots allow you to do that. And that way the next one will be of the same, the same size, okay? So I'm just gonna move this guy down. And in that second guy, I'm gonna say enter um, description, okay? And then I'm gonna duplicate that guy and uh, do one more, and this this one will be, you know, enter uh, the picture URL, right? Because they they we want them to be able to enter a, a picture, and it's going to have to be a URL though. Okay, so there we go. And notice these lines kind of help me line things up as as I'm dragging and dropping. Um, I'm also going to throw in a labels or some labels here, just so the user knows what they're doing. Like I'm just going to say name here. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate that guy and just bring this guy down and try, you know, we'll, we, we can, you can work on getting the thing set, um, better, but for now, let's just kind of make a, a bare bones, um, form here. So description and finally the last one is going to be the, um, pick URL. Okay, and these labels are just guideposts for the user so they know that the hint's gonna tell them stuff, but once they've entered something, we want them to also see you know, what it is um, that they've, they've entered, okay? So kind of a lame form, but it's, it's, it's okay for now. We've got these three input boxes, and one thing I'm gonna do is rename them. So by names, you know, that's different than the text that shows up. The name is what you'll see when you go to the blocks editor and you start coding. And we kind of want those names to be descriptive. So I'm going to call this guy the name text input. Okay, instead of text input one. And then down here, I'm going to call this the um, description text input or D, I'll just use DSC for short. And then finally the pick URL text input. Okay, so anyway, I've got three text boxes. I got labels in there as well, and I'm just going to put one button. So really, no, nothing's going to happen until they click. The user clicks the submit button. Okay, so you know the the use case is going to be enter some stuff, click submit, and then that's when the app really actually records something. Okay, and so anyway, there's a submit button. All right, so here's our user interface. We could certainly work on this, you know, and make it a lot prettier. Okay. Um, but for now, we've got our user interface and let's get to the kind of the, the, the real important part of this or the hard part to learn is how do you actually make the interactive code so that whatever they enter here gets put into this spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to blocks and in my blocks, uh, notice I've got these descriptively named text inputs now and I rename my button submit button. So that's good. Okay. And essentially when they click the submit button, you know, I'm probably gonna wanna verify that their inputs are okay, but for now I'm not gonna do that. But what I do wanna do is take whatever they've entered and stick it in this spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And the way you do it is scroll down and find your um, data sources. And in the previous video, we used some of these blocks to go get information from the spreadsheet but now we're gonna use the create row block, which actually sticks something in the spreadsheet. Okay, and it's gonna have a field, a little slot for all the different 
um, columns in the spreadsheet. And I only showed you the first three columns and we're not even gonna use the last two, which is lat and long. So if you were doing some map stuff, you would use those three. Okay, for us, we're just gonna deal with the first three and you know those text input boxes, we can go grab what the user's entered in them by grabbing the text property. So I'm gonna grab like this pick URL text.text .text, and I'm gonna stick it in for the pick value. And then I'm gonna copy it. And now, you know, just make sure once you copy it, switch it over to the, to the right one. I'm using command C and command V on Mac to copy and paste. Um, then finally my description, I'm gonna use description text input. And then, you know, I'm not gonna deal with Latin long. We could have added that as two more input fields, um, but we're just gonna put, you know, 0.0, .0 just default values in for those. And that's what'll show up in the spreadsheet. Okay, so when, when the submit button gets clicked, we're gonna create a row in our spreadsheet. And then, you know, once we do that, we just wanna navigate back to uh, the home screen. Okay, that's, that's what we want. And, and you know, believe it or not, we're, we're, we've got the brunt of our code in already. Okay, so let's test this. And just to let you know, it's not gonna work on the first, first shot, but let's, let's try it out. So make sure you click screen one, okay, and then test. Okay, there's our um, tech superstars. And notice we have no way to even get to the input screen. Okay, so error number one, or you know, at least the first thing we haven't done yet is we need to add a new button to the home page, and I won't make it pretty, but I'll just put a little plus in there, and let's actually put it a little closer, and I'm going to put a plus there, and I'll rename it to the plus button. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of make it a little better sized and center it. Okay, so I've got this plus button. Actually, I don't want to call it the plus button. I want to call it the add person button. Okay, and so I'm in the designer. Now I click on blocks. And when the add per person button is clicked, sorry, so when I click the add person button, what do I want to happen? All right, well, this is pretty simple. When I click that add person button from the home screen, I just want to open up not screen one, but input screen. Okay, cool. So now I should be able to at least test my app. And okay, so I'm gonna go back to, I'm on screen one, web preview, run it, click the plus button. Oh, cool, there's my form, okay. So now my form comes up and I'm gonna enter some information. And, you know, I'm just gonna put some stuff in here. Ada Lovelace is another tech superstar from way, way back. And, and she's the one that kind of, um, you know, she really was one of the first people to envision um, like the computer. So she envisioned the computer before it existed. Uh, so she's really a pioneer. And for the pick URL, I'm actually gonna go just real quickly, open up a window, Ada Lovelace. And here's a picture of her. And I'm going to, you know, be careful when you do this because you want the URL, but I'm going to copy the image address. So you don't want like one of these for the web page, but you want the image address. And it should be a PNG or a JPG or something like that. And then um, we're going to paste it in. Now notice I'm, I'm testing. So I'm actually pretending I'm the user and this is what the user is going to have to do. Um, you can also later, you know, we'll, we'll do a series where we, we let the user choose from their photos or, you know, take a picture with their camera. But for right now, we're going to, and you'd probably put some instructions in here to tell the user to, to enter a URL. So what we want to happen is when they click submit for it to show up in the spreadsheet and show up on the main page. So when I click submit, um, like I said, yeah, it's not, it, it did not show up on the main page. Ada Lovelace did not. But if we open up our spreadsheet, um, and scroll down, I think she's going to be there. Whoops, not, not that far down. Yeah, there she is. So the thing we just entered, um, Ada Lovelace, 
she's got we've got our description we've got the url that we paste it in and then zero and zero for the latin law okay but something happened why did this you know why did it not appear in the main page and i'll and i'll tell you why in fact if we rerun the app right now so back to editing and then re preview it'll show up okay and you, you have to scroll down but there's ada right so she did show up once we restarted the test okay the problem is and it's a little it's a little kind of a weird you know it's not really a glitch but it's just a, an issue is is when you click the button so let's go back to editing but when you add this row in the spreadsheet go back to screen one you know screen one is not going to update its view okay unless we tell it to Okay, and, and, and so this is a little bit sophisticated, but let me show you what you need to do is on screen one, you actually need to, um, when it opens, okay, so when screen one opens, um, and that happens both when the app starts, but also when you go back to the screen, okay, from a different screen, which we're, we're doing, when screen one opens, you actually need to say, you know what, I want my data viewer grid, I want it to update. I want it to refresh its data, okay? And once you do that, um, you know, the, now when you open the input screen, the user input stuff, and they, they navigate back to screen one, the screen.opens code is gonna get triggered, it's gonna refresh the data, and the new person will appear right away. Okay, as opposed to, oh, the next time you restart the app, the, the person shows. Because obviously, when a user enters something, you want that feedback to come immediately. So anyway, don't forget this final step to add this refresh data on the screen.opens.